Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be covering in today's video is that we are going to be determining fractions and we are going to use circles to visually see where those fractions are coming from and this will be the first part in our series. So we have three circles here with colored portions and we have to determine what is the fraction that is colored of the entire circle. So fractions. Just a little bit of information here. Fractions will always be a number over another number. For instance, four over seven. The number in the top will be referred to as, or is called the numerator. And the bottom number below the line is referred to as the denominator. Now, the denominator will always be the total amount of what you're looking at. It is the maximum total that you can have of your portion. The top number, your numerator, will be how much you actually have of that portion. So the bottom is how much you can get to, and the top one is how much you actually currently have. So looking at our circles here, our numerator is going to be how much we have shaded in color, and our denominator, which is our bottom portion, will be how many portions we actually have that we can totally colored in, but are not. So looking at our first circle here, we are going to have a fraction. Well, how many portions of the circle is colored in? Well, we currently only have one portion that is colored in in blue. The amount that we currently have is going to be our numerator. So that's going to be our top number of one. How many total portions of this circle do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four. So we have four total portions here, and that would be our denominator in the bottom. So the problem is asking what fraction of the circle is colored. Well, currently we have one of four, and that's how you would read a, react, or read a fraction, one of four, which just means that we have one over four colored in here. So that would be our first answer for that first circle. All right, let's move on to our second one over here, the yellow one. And let me just backtrack. With all of these portions, we're assuming that each little wedge here of the circle, each little portion of the pie or pizza, if you want to think of it that way, is evenly uh, cut. So with our second one here in yellow, how many portions do we have in yellow? Well, we have one, two, three, four. We have five portions colored in yellow. Well, that's how much we currently have. So that would be my numerator, my top number. Out of how many possible? Well, we have six possible if we count every single one. Well, we have a total of six possibilities. That's how much we could go up to, but we aren't quite there yet. So that means that would be my denominator. So what this fraction is saying is that we have five out of six portions of the circle colored in. So we have five six of the circle that is yellow. All right. So moving on to my last circle over here, now we have portions in green. Well, once again, a fraction. How much do we have colored? Well, we have one, two, three portions colored in. So that would be my numerator, which is my top number. Out of how many possible portions? Well, we have four, five total portions. So that would be my denominator in the bottom. And what this is saying is that I have three colored out of a possible five. So I have three fifths of that circle colored in. And that would be my answer for my third circle. So just keep in mind that your numerator is your top number. And that is telling you how much you have of your total. And your bottom number, which is your denominator, is how much you could go up to or how much your actual total is. So I hope this video was helpful in visually showing what fractions are and how to find them using these circles and colors. And if you want to see more Problem Solvers Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please uh, like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all of that does help us out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.